Master My, good evening and welcome to the Manx Radio Folk Show with me, John Barker, playing you the best in folk and roots music from the Alaman and all around the world. Let's have a track by the Pogues to start tonight. This is from their Peace and Love album and it's White City. So that was the Pogues from 1989 from the album Peace and Love. It's one that I've not really listened to since that time. It's good to hear it again. Well, we had a fantastic week of music at Incrinuit last week. Huge congratulations to all of the organisers, anyone involved with it at all, and of course to the musicians themselves. I went to three concerts at the Centenary Centre. Dervish were wonderful. Trip supported by Clash 4 was a fantastic night, but one of those really rare, almost perfect nights. Started with Mira Royal and Friends, and they supported Kareem Polwart and Dave Milligan, and their performance was absolutely wonderful. One of the songs Kareem sang concerned a palm tree in the Botanical Gardens in Edinburgh, which had to be chopped down, and it was partly spoken, partly sung. And on Kareem Polwart and Dave Milligan's album, Still As You're Sleeping, there's a song that takes a similar form. It's about Sicker Point which is a place famous amongst us geologists for its unconformity. That's a junction between two sequences of rock, which represents a time gap of perhaps hundreds of millions of years. And this East Lothian promontory is where James Hutton, the founding father of modern geology, uh, formulated his revolutionary theory of the Earth and the idea of uniformitarianism. We have an unconformity on Langness at the Arches, which is just as good, but I suppose Hutton never came there. So this track is Sicker Point by Kareen Polwart and Dave Milligan, and I'll follow it with Kareen's cover of a well-known song. James and James and John row east along the coast from Dunglass Burn to Sicker Point. They anchor where the crags are washed bare by the wind and the waves. rise up through horizontal bands of red sand. A lost seabed lifted to the stars. So long, long gone. time 
The three men find no trace of a beginning, no prospect of an end. Deep and deeper, it lies beyond their giddy measure. The surface of this land is made by nature to decay. Dust cleaves to dust and then it's blown away.
Waterboy's Hole of the Moon is one of my favourite songs of all time. It means an awful lot to me. And like anybody else, I'm not always that keen on covers of my favourite songs, but that one I think is wonderful. Kareem Polwart's cover of The Hole of the Moon is from her Scottish Songbook album, where she takes songs by Scottish songwriters and covers them in her own unique way. 
Now, as well as the concerts at Incronic last week, there were loads of sessions and other events happening. I managed to get along to the O'Donnell session on Wednesday night, and I recorded a little bit of what was going on there. I'll play you two little bits from that. The first one particularly features Dave Spears, Paul Callister, uh, Dave Callister, Tony Houston, Chris Franks, and Pat Knight, and a wonderful flute player called Hannah from Shrewsbury. Then it fades into uh, part of a set which features in particular Cesar Jochen, Elizabeth Davison Blythe and Daniel Quayle, along with everybody else that was there. It's 10 years now since Anais Mitchell and Jefferson Harmer released the Child Ballads album. Their interpretations of some of the songs in that huge collection. This is the first track from the album, Willie of Winsbury. The king has been a prisoner And a prisoner long in Spain And Willie of Winsbury Has lain long Daughter Jane What ails you, what ails you My daughter Jane Why you look so pale and wan Oh, have you had any ill sickness I have been sleeping with a man I have not had Tired and waste is 
The last couple of lines in that song I think are my favourites in all the traditional songs that I've heard. If you want to see an almost perfect performance of that by Inez Mitchell and Jefferson Harmer, look up the song by them on YouTube, and it's at the BBC Folk Awards from several years ago now, and they're accompanied by Martin Green and Aidan O'Rourke of Lau. It really is wonderful. And while I'm talking about videos, look at the Corrine Polwart video for that Whole of the Moon track as well. And last week I played you Eliza Carthy and the Wayward Band's version of Hug You Like a Mountain with Teddy Thompson. There's a great video for that as well on YouTube. There's something for you to do on a wet afternoon. Next, let's have Paul Kringle with his tune, Alden River. Thank you. 
So that was the wonderful local guitarist Paul Kringle with his composition Alden River, which has rightly become a very popular tune with Manx musicians. Now, while we're talking about guitar players, I played you some tracks last week from the collection Strings at Nimble Leap that is put together by Filed Guitar's Roger Bucknell. I'll play you one more track from that. This song was written by Chris Difford of Squeeze and it features Boo Hewardine and it's called The Guitar at the End of My Bed. And I'll follow that with another song about guitars. He makes guitars From pieces of wood He sits in his shed As he takes a look At the shapes and the grains He knows by heart And one day soon A work of art At the end of my bed He makes guitars With glue and vice Such a steady eye He's as cool as I Cuts and bends Just as he should One day soon We'll play Johnny Be Good And it's just The way you said The guitar at the end of my bed He makes guitars A lifetime's work There's nothing quite like The sound I heard A brand new guitar Fresh out of its case The scent of rosewood Brings a smile to my face And the chords I play Are old friends The guitar at the end At the end of my bed Just taking care of it now 
Unmistakably, Neil Young there, with his song, This Old Guitar. I always like the sentiment of that song. Guitars aren't yours to keep. They may have been owned by somebody before, many of mine are second-hand, and we hope, of course, that they'll go on to be played by other people in the future. Who knows who, though? In that song, though, Neil Young was referring particularly to Hank Williams' guitar, which Neil owns and plays as one of his main acoustic guitars. I'll take that guitar theme, and I'm going to run with it next week, when I'm going to do a whole show featuring great guitarists. Now the Albion Country Band next. They were a band formed by Ashley Hutchins when he left Fairport Convention, and they've had so many different lineups over the years, it's difficult to keep track. The album Battle of the Field was recorded in 1973, but only released in 1976, and it features Martin Carthy, Sue Harris, Ashley Hutchins, John Kirkpatrick, Simon Nickel, and Roger Swallow. From it, this is I Was a Young Man. I was a young man, I was a rover, nothing would satisfy me but a wife. Soon as I reached the age of twenty, weary was I of a single life. 
The very first year me wife I married Out of a company I could not stay The voice was sweet as the lark or the linnet Or the nightingale at the break of day Now she's fairly altered her meaning Now she's fairly changed her tune Nothing but scolding comes from the mouth Of a poor man's labour's never done Very first year, me wife I married Scarce gonna get one half hour sleep With her two knees, she rubbed my shins Christ, husband, dear, put down your feet The baby cried, she bitterly scolded Down to the door I was forced for to run Without trousers a wig or a whisk Of the poor man's labour's never done I went up to the top of the hill for to view me sheep that had all gone astray. When I came back, she was lying in her bed at twelve o'clock on a winter's day. When I came back, both wet and weary, weary and wet, now where could I run? She was lying in her bed, the fire up beside her, she says, young man, is the kettle on? She'll be sitting all alone Says there's plenty young women to me And why should I be tied to one? All young men that is to marry Don't then grieve you evermore Death, oh death, come take my wife And then my sorrows will be yours So from some classic 70s folk rock, let's go to some modern folk rock. This is the Magpie Arc, who are Alex Hunter, Nancy Kerr, Findlay Napier, Martin Simpson and Tom Wright. And this track is from their album Glamour in the Grey. It's the Cutty Wren.
So that was the Magpie Arc. It's an interesting album, that. I must listen to it a bit more and play you something else from it. Music that's happening around the Isle of Man this week. There'll be the usual O'Donnell session on Wednesday night and the Mitre session on Friday night. I think with it being the first Friday of the month, they have the step dancing at the Mitre, probably starting around about 5.30. I'm sure Dave Collister will tell me if I've got that wrong, but I think that's right. And then with it being the first Sunday of the month, there'll be the trad session in Laxey Sailing Club at lunchtime, probably starting about 12.30 or so. I may see you at one of those things. Now, last week I was saying I'd been rummaging around in the dustier corners of my CD collection, and I found two great CDs, which are both from 1991. I think this is Catherine Tickell's first CD, and then I'm going to play something from Sharon Shannon's first CD. So first of all, Out on the Ocean, The Caco Demon, The Coast of Austria, and Thomas McElvogue's number one, from the Catherine Tickell Band album, featuring some very fine guitar playing by Ian Carr.
That was Lynn Tocker on piano accordion on that last track. Fantastic playing. Uh, the title of the third tune there, The Coast of Austria. Interesting. Don't forget you can get in touch with me at the show here by emailing folkshow at maxradio.com. Just send me a message to say hi, ask for a track, tell me about any events that are happening, tell me about new music. Come in and talk to us. I'd love to hear from you. So as I said, last night I've got a track from Sharon Shannon's first album. This is The Monster Hop. I'll see you next week for the Guitar Player Special. <laughs> <laughs> 